<laughs> oh, I think he got that cream all over his fur. He is licky, licky, licky. Mr. Wiener is giving it a go. The baby's licking off the spoon. <laughs> Look at that big butt on that boy. He's huge. Okay, here we go. Hey, happy Yoon's Day, everyone. Again, Mr. Wiener's here to start off round number two of the Viewer Recipe Challenge. What is the Viewer Recipe Challenge? Multiple viewers have come up with recipe ideas for the raccoons on what their favorite treat could be. We already have round one done with. David was the winner of that one. Who are the contenders today? Look at this good assortment. We have dog food with rice balls. We have beautiful desserts with grapes and cream and sugar. We have peanut butter and jelly, bananas and peanut butter. Look at this lasagna with hot dogs in there and dog food rolled up with peanuts on top. A smorgasbord of grapes and marshmallows. It's going to be good. Pretty soon I'm going to put them out there on the table. The raccoons are going to come in and they are going to compete for what their favorite recipe is. And round number two, the winner tonight moves on to the final round. All right, we're back at it again. We're uh, preparing some ingredients for tonight. There's a whole mix. You see that? That's lasagna. And we got rice cooking. And we got grapes being sliced. We're going to have a bunch of different ingredients for the oons to try tonight. Round two, coming on up. Well, hi there, silly boy. How you doing, Mr. Wiener? How's that eye coming along? So we only have him and one other. I just can't put the food out yet. All right. This is going to be one of the sweeter treats tonight. This one was thought up by Martina. Look at fancy cookies. Lady fingers with a sour cream and vanilla sugar mix and some grapes. There's going to be another layer of cream on top of that and then some crushed nuts. And most importantly, we have to put that in the refrigerator and we have to let it harden up. Gotta wait for some more to show up. It's not a windy night. This ought to go well tonight. Although the temps are dropping hard, we're going to probably be in the 20s tonight. There's Mr. Moon hanging up in the sky. Wow. Uh, Cupcake came up with a real unique one involving lasagna, hot dogs, and canned dog food that we're going to roll up and cut into pinwheels and sprinkle with nuts. Look at this. Who would think my raccoons would ever eat something like this? I'm going to wait till some more come in, and then I'm putting out the plates, and round two is going to take off. Okay, we got four raccoons here. It might be time to put out some food and get this thing going. What do you say, Mr. Wiener? I see black socks is out there too. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down and start to put out the yummies. All right, we got the food set out. Mr. Wiener's here. The three little babies, they're coming on back in. It could start any second now. All right, black socks is approaching. Black socks is known for grabbing the whole plate and running off. Gotta watch out for this guy. He did that to Big Meat Pete last time. Okay, we got a bite. The first bite goes to Thankful. Thankful has a, a rice ball with corned beef hash and with dry cat food in it. Very interesting combination. Nice bite-sized pieces. So, that yellow one is the rice balls from Thankful. Next to that is Martina. Martina has these delicious cookies that are covered in a sour cream with vanilla sugar mixed in with grapes and peanuts sprinkled on top. Very interesting dessert right there. Something popular in Europe. Next to that is the classic peanut butter and jelly that Anna came up with. Over here on the green plate is cupcakes, lasagna, canned dog food, hot dogs, and peanuts combination. Right in the middle is Kathy. Very simple. A banana with peanut butter spread in half, cut into about half inch size pieces. Now on the end is Cindy. She has a smorgasbord of cat food, hot dogs, marshmallows, grapes, and peanuts all blended together. Black Sox is thinking about it. Black Sox is going right back to the rice balls with corned beef hash <laughs> and cat food mixed in. What an interesting combination there that uh, Thankful came up with. Okay, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mr. Wiener just took a piece. He's taking it to the water. He's going to baptize it. Awesome. Way to go, Anna. Mr. Wiener, his first bite tonight was Anna's plate. The pink one right there. Oh, he's going to go back and get another one. Anna, things are looking good for you if he takes another one. Uh-oh, he took the spoon with it. He's going to eat it proper. And look at Black Sox going back at the rice balls. So we have two of them 
that are getting action right now. Thankfuls and Annas. I'm hoping they smell the other ones. This is all good stuff out there. Mr. Wiener, what else is out there? Okay, he's grabbing some peanuts that I sprinkled out there to kind of pull them in. Mr. Wiener, you gonna take another PB&J? He took it off the plate. He's gonna take it to the water. He's gonna dunk it. Anna, things are going your way fast. I really want them to smell these other dishes. These are all really good dishes and they need to get in on the action. It's the raccoons don't even know they exist yet. That's the problem. Uh-oh. Martina. Martina, Mr. Wiener found your dessert. Your delicious European dessert. So those are ladyfinger cookies. Oh yeah, he's gonna dunk that. You know, we were making that. My wife and I, we decided to give it a taste and oh my goodness, is that delicious. It's something we never thought of taking a vanilla sugar and blending it with sour cream, but wow, does that work? Okay, Black Sox, what are you gonna do? Black Sox is probably gonna go to the tried and true, yep. Black Sox has a taste for those rice balls with corned beef hash and cat food blended in. What an interesting combination that Thankful came up with, and it's working. Well, Mr. Wiener gave it a smell. He's not interested. Mr. Wiener goes back to Martina's. He's nibbling. He's taking the sweet stuff right off the cookie. Ooh, he likes that sour cream and vanilla sugar combination. We refrigerated it just like Martina wanted. It kind of hardens it up and makes it nice and dense. Okay, that's interesting. He took a cookie off and he dropped it behind the table there. That may come into play later if that cookie isn't polished off behind the table. That is not going to count. He's just taking the toppings off. Right now, Mr. Wiener is just working on the peanut crumble on top of Martina's dessert. Okay, there he ate a grape. He ate a grape with some cream, but something about that cookie, that lady-fingered cookie, he is not thrilled with. Is he going to go back to the PB&J? He's thinking about it. Look at how fussy he's being. Oh, Mr. He's dropping it. Is he going to eat it? Yeah, he's eating it. Anna, things are looking good for you right now. Uh-oh. Black Sox might come in again and grab a rice ball. Mr. Wiener, look it. There's peanut butter with bananas. There's lasagna with hot dogs and dog food rolled up. There are some other dishes for you to check out. Oh, he likes this peanut butter and jelly. What a classic. So simple, and that might take the whole night. We have five raccoons here right now. I am shocked some of these are just content being with the dog food out there. Uh-oh, Mr. Wiener's going to try something else out. Here we go. This is Cindy's plate. Cindy has a smorgasbord of all different flavors. He's not sure about it. Okay, he's smelling the bananas with peanut butter. Nope, he's returning to Martina's. He's liking the top of Martina's. He likes that cream and those peanut crumbles, but he's not sure about everything else on that plate. Ooh, is he a fussy boy. There you go, Martina. Okay, that baby took one of yours, and he's running off with it. He's going to go all the way back to the shed and devour that cookie. Interesting. So it seems like the, the back three... Uh-oh, no, I take that back. The green plate has gotten some action. The lasagna, the lasagna, canned dog food, hot dogs, and peanuts that Cupcake came up with just had one taken off. Okay, it looks like Black Sox returned. He's giving me a look like, am I allowed to do this? There we go again. The lasagna special is getting a hit. The green plate by Cupcake6516 just had another piece taken. She is in the hunt. So, so far, the banana and peanut butter has gotten no action from Kathy. Okay. Oh, Black Sox thought about the rice balls and changed the mind. Martina, you just got a nibble. That baby looks proud carrying off his prize. Okay, here we go. Mr. Wiener just wants the peanut crumbles. He was doing the same thing with Martina's. He's taken that crushed peanut 
and he has taken it off the top of these dishes. But we need an empty plate, a mostly empty plate, all the big stuff gone, to declare a winner. So Mr. Wiener, you're going to have to engulf that dog food lasagna and hot dog that's twirled into that beautiful pinwheel. All right. Is, is the banana and peanut butter going to get action? It is. Mr. Wiener is giving it a go. Okay, Anna. You might... Uh oh, this baby's thinking about it, smelling everything. All right, yellow plate is getting some action. That is Cindy's. Martina got a little hit right there. The baby's licking off the spoon. <laughs> Mr. Wiener is going all over the place. Look at that. Mr. Wiener just about cleaned off all the crushed nuts on top of that. Okay, Wiener's back. He's in the hunt. If he goes to Anna's, it's two bites away from putting her over the top. What's this baby going to choose? Martina. Martina, look at this. Oh, I think he got that cream all over his fur. He is licky, licky, licky. He feels like he's a mess. He's a sticky mess. He's going to take... Uh-oh, there he goes. He's running off with your treat. Okay, I would say the closest right now is Martina and Anna. That one is taking some crumbs. Some of Martina's crumbs. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. There we go. Martina takes another bite. Okay, baby, what are you going to go to? Smelling the rice balls and passing. Martina is in great shape here. I think it's that vanilla sugar blended in with that sour cream that's really getting their attention plus that ladyfinger cookie is very tasty by itself there we go look at you martina you are you are getting so close to the finish line right here it's all got to be consumed okay that baby's running off with it he is chomping uh oh uh oh uh oh there we go we have an empty plate martina wins round number two I don't want to call it too fast. I got to make sure that is eaten all the way. That raccoon is committed to it. Yeah, Martina, you did it. Way to go, Martina. All the way from Europe. A big fan of Wednesday. And what a great recipe you came up with. She has no raccoons where she lives. But yet, she knows what they want to eat. That is something. That's fascinating. Hey, all right, Kathy's finally getting some action with the peanut butter and banana. That was a, a real quiet one so far tonight, and now it's getting some action. Let's see if anyone gets into Cindy's right now on the yellow plate. Yeah, this baby's nibbling some of that. There's peanuts mixed in there. There's hot dogs in there. There's grapes in there. There's mini marshmallows. It's got everything and some cat food in there. All the things they like stand alone by themselves, but they're fussy. You notice that one is picking out the things it wants right now. I think it's going right after the peanuts. Wow, Martina took it tonight. So Martina is going to be there in the final round with Dave. Boy, they're still going to Martina's plate looking for another nibble. And it's all gone. All the good stuff is gone. Okay, you going to take Anna's peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> I don't think that, that baby wants the, uh, the bread, but wants the good stuff in the middle. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> look at that. Left the bread behind. You are so spoiled. Okay, we got some new raccoons that are coming in here. I ain't got a name for this uh, blonde colored one. He's kind of an aggressive male. Um, he's not one of my favorites, to be honest. And there's another aggressive male with him there. And they came in, he gave it a smell, and he wasn't sure. Anna, Anna, your plate is cleared, but those two little pieces of bread, I don't know. I don't know. Can we give you second place tonight? I think we can. So, Anna, congratulations. You took second place tonight. I'm sorry you're not going to make it to the final round. All right, that's, that guy's eating the last little bits of Anna's right there just to make it official. Oh, it looks like a Black Sox return. 
Come on, Black Sox, you liked those rice balls before that Thankful made. Not so sure. Once they get that, uh, that sweet in their mouth, they change their mind pretty fast. Thankful made more of a savory dish. All right, Cindy's getting some action on her plate. Let's see who, uh, who comes in third place tonight. Oh, look at this guy. He's going to try and take that whole plate off. It's screwed to the table. You're not going to get the plate off. What are you doing? You're ripping the tablecloth. <laughs> oh, there we go. Getting some action there, Kathy, with your banana and peanut butter. So Kathy said, cut the banana lengthwise, spread a thin layer of peanut butter, put them back together, and then cut them in slices. Very easy to do. I appreciated that because some of these recipes were pretty complicated. I never thought I'd be cooking lasagna with my wife for raccoons and then rolling it up with dog food and hot dogs. I never would have thought of that on my own. Okay. There we go with the lasagna roll. Still haven't gotten a third place for the night yet. Okay. It's got a, got a taste for the same one. Yeah, he likes that one. That's got the dog food, the hot dogs, and the lasagna all rolled into a pinwheel. <laughs> there we go. Cupcake, you're getting close to taking third place now. You're just one away, and that blonde one sure has a taste for that. Still waiting for a uh, third place result here. Elton. Hi, Elton John. Come say hi. How you doing, little piano man? Ooh, you smell the yummies left behind. Always going after the marshmallows on Cindy's plate. Oh, there's still some good stuff out there, Elton. Look. Yeah, everyone's picking out what their favorite thing out of Cindy's is, but they're not getting everything at once. I think the secret is to have a universal coating on everything, whether it's marshmallow cream or peanut butter, to make them commit to the whole plate at once. Because if you notice, Elton is just taking every last marshmallow out of there. And then I bet you he gives up right after that. He's leaving the hot dogs. He's leaving the grapes. He's leaving the cat food alone. Some of the others went after the peanuts. Elton's going to go smell the peanut butter and banana. Always giving it a taste. All right. Kathy, you're getting some action there. If he stays with that plate, you might uh, take honorary third place tonight. You gonna polish off Cindy's plate or are you just gonna pick what you want? Hi Elton. How you doing, good boy? He is such an adorable little raccoon. Okay, Elton came back. Elton's going to Kathy's plate. He likes that peanut butter banana combination. So I'm starting to think about round three already. We have six more contenders before we have the final round. So far we know David and Martina have made it to the final round. But uh, coming up in round number three is Seashelf, Phil, Bella, and Trace, They Ate Pizza, Indy Phyllis, Char Barker, and Mama Kath. So we got all new recipes heading our way. What do you want? Look at that. There's one left, and Elton gave up. <laughs> I don't know, Cindy. They're just picking out the good stuff there. He took the hot dog, and he spit it out. Elton, come on. Elton, go finish off one of those. Give us a third place, please. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, come on. Oh, he puts it down. Okay, there we go. We got our third place. Black Sox snuck in, took cupcakes, lasagna, canned dog food, hot dog, and peanut roll, and ran off with it. And I'm going to say, happy Oons Day, everyone. We finished round two. Martina is the winner tonight. Followed close behind by Anna with the classic peanut butter and jelly. I'm freezing my butt off here. I mean, look, the moon's way down by the horizon. When we started, it was up there tonight. It's been a long night, but we got a result. Martina's 
was awesome. What a combination of a cookie, a sweet cream, some grapes, and some sprinkled peanuts. They loved it. Okay, guys, get ready for round number three next. And then we're going off to the finals to see what the Oon's very favorite recipe is from you, the viewers. Good night, everyone. Now you guys show up. Now that this thing is done, where were you before? <laughs>